last session was about filters and controls. We saw how we can apply filters to different charts and graphs and components and even pages or the whole report to narrow down the amount of information that are presented on our report to a certain value of a dimension, like a country, or to a range of different range of metrics that we wanted to show. So we could apply filters as an editor. And then for the viewer, we could provide them with controls so they can decide how they want to slice and dice data on the report itself. Filters and controls, both, they perform the same functionality. One is designed for editors, filters, and one is designed for the viewer's controls. But now we want to use controls to work with parameters. And we want to talk about parameters today. Data Studio Masterclass parameters. So up to this point, what we did, we connected to a data source somewhere on the internet. We brought in data. We decided how did we want to own data. And we decided how we wanted to visualize that. So as the report editor, we connected to data somewhere. We performed the modeling somehow. And finally, we visualized it also somehow. We provided some controls to the viewers so they could interact with the report itself. But as we saw previously, controls and filters, they do not model data. They do not change the underlying calculation. They only narrow down, they only limit the types and amounts of data shown on a graph. But parameters, the reason I'm excited about them is that for the first time ever, we can offer the user, the viewer of the report, to have a say in the way we transform it, in the way we calculate it. So they can have their, their work, they can have their input on how they want those calculations to perform. With parameters, this is the connect part of the data connection in Data Studio. So at the beginning, we saw that Data Studio can connect to uh, data sources, and we can also collect values from the user. And that is using parameters. Okay. So they allow users to provide data to the calculated field and charts. Let's uh, see a quick example. This is a metric coming from a data source, Google Analytics, Google Ads, BigQuery, Google Sheets, somewhere from the internet. And we get some value from the viewer. We combine them together. We perform some calculation. We present the result in a chart. So we can immediately see how valuable and how powerful this could be because this chart now has some aspects to it that is customized by the viewer. This is more relevant. This is more useful to the viewer at the exact same time because the calculations are not coming just from us, but also from them. So for example, revenue forecast could be sum of revenue, whatever we can see they already have in their CRM, in their Google Analytics, in their accounting tool, multiplied by X, where X is the parameter provided by the user. So they can say, yeah, my forecast would be the next quarter we are going to have double this amount of revenue or 20% more revenue. This is what they can tell us using parameters and we can incorporate the calculation for them. 